You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique in DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in Arcade Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. I've heard enough, and I like where this is headed. I'm ready to join Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw. And they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. It's two-thirds of Evolution ready for tag team action. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And it's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 470 pounds. The Icon and Gabriel Slate Evolution. The Intercontinental Champion and Gabriel are an exciting blend of potential and experience that could reshape this entire tag team division. Sure, if the lock's actually ready for a partner. And at a 
combined weight of 610 pounds, Omos and Carmelo Hayes, the Hurt Business. Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. Museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for the Raw Tag Team titles. And they have to go through a Moss and Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Saxon still has the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This triple threat tornado tag match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see if Randy Orton's new evolution lives up to the with a look of Suplex. It wasn't the height of the damage that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. On a bionic elbow. Razor elbow drop, driven down. The Rock expected that one. On the attack from behind. What a gourd buster. So agile. When you have the skill, you flaunt it and you make it hurt too. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Ooh. 
think this match still has a ways to go. Double axe handle. See him take yet yeah. another shot to the body. Oh, brutal. And Katie showing the power. The champ taking their share of hits now. Stay with that attack. And a wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Look at that. And did you hear the impact of that? And he barely evades. And Carmelo gets stifled. Sided back to the man. Neckbreaker! So smooth. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. And he gets sent back into the ring. I hear it. Scorpion deck. Evolution looking to capture two people. Moss has other plans. The Intercontinental Champion is doing everything in this power to counter. No, Moss is just too strong. A new Business looks to walk out as champions. What has started with the frog splash out of nowhere? Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear from Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions experience teaming together prevail. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. What's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Icon. Michael, when was the last time the WWE machine got behind a newer superstar like this? Go for it! There have been some high-profile arrivals over the years, but the lock is definitely right up there near the top. A 
Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work. Time to party with the Prophets. That is abundance at a combined weight of 492 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Fire with the Street Profits out here. I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, and it'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. The Springboard attack fails to land. Able to reverse that one. Tossed into the corner. Lock saw it coming. Boom. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Vicious arm stop. Lock quickly moves. Oh, that didn't go as Lock designed. It's a gear he finds its mark. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Here we go. Some of his win now. A truly impressive kick out this late. Tag is made. Constructing the knee there. Saw that one coming. is really being knocked around here. The lock isn't holding anything back. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, that can flatten you. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Off their opponent. Ooh. He turns it around. Dawkins is pushing back now. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. With the reversal.
torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. He must have had that scouting. Would be worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, my goodness. What a collision. Momentum on the side of the lock. Montez is definitely in peril here. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, a kick out. I don't believe it. Montez Ford refusing to stay down. I'll tell you, he is operating on pure adrenaline about now. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? And that might start the momentum. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. Fading. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. It's obvious Montez Ford is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. Yeah, this is a dire situation. Going for it. Perhaps we're going to see it. Scorpion death lock. The tap, tap, tap. He taps out. This handicap matchup's in the books. Here is your winner, the Icon. What a win by the newcomer. The lock may be new to WWE, but he looked every bit the veteran out there tonight. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better things. Not bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. 